Who was writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. to something you had managed to forget. Marking you. Taking you for a ride. Making you crazier. The station had changed. I was closer now. Is just an echo of the real thing. Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. it was ringing again. Hey, Alan. Thank God he picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? Why are you helping me? Did you go deeper? To the overlap? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. We would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing. 
stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? the monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? to go off when the door opens. photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. This is video camera. No memory card inside. working on. Dedicated by our 
creative ambitions. The only difference was that Alan's work made money. He brought me work when he could. I took his promo shots, um, created covers for his books. I'm sure he forced his publisher into it. I was taking photos, just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then, Alan hit a block. I brought out a meaner side of him. One I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. We argued. Things went wrong. And he was just gone. Drowned, allegedly. It's easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do, too, sometimes. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit The Dark Place. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? I sat in the writer's room and wrote a story. Initiation. To project myself through the dark place. To look for a way out. The story had brought me here, brought me nowhere. Looped me back. I was writing this story. And in the story, I now stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing.
Okay, let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when, it, when night falls. But last time... It... This will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. I... Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is it's full of holes, and I I'm not sure how much I can trust. It it's like it's like it's like a half-forgotten dream. Mr. Wake, Alan, we've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I, why are we written into the story? I think I saw you, or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. of it. Oh dear, I am a tourist. Wake just gave us a lot of information, but this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult.
The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Makes sense. Nah. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the Cult of the Tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The Cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the Cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm gonna act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something?
said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Okay, Mr. Wake. I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the Cult of the Tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the Cult of the Tree. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her, her life, her past. She didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, ran after him. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them. I, I remember writing an endless amount of pages. But when this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation.
behind this I can't help you. No, no, that's not how this works. You're a civilian, and we don't need to be right along. There's perhaps an afternoon. It's so the Hello, and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's best coffee-themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family-friendly and available to children of all ages, just like our coffee. So, take a sip of our Oh Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin! <sighs> Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express! Oh! Soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. It's not a haunted. No. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. It's not amusing. Take in amazing views from the slow roaster Ferris wheel. I can almost see the watery lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun! And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World! We guarantee you'll jaw a great time! This is the third time I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir, I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, we've called a professional electrician. In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh, oh, there's an idea, Einstein. Why, why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room while I'm at it? Sleep on the floor. Go to the toilet in the corner. Hey, I'm not unplugging it. You're fixing it. Of course, sir. It doesn't budge. It won't open. Tammy tapped her pen on her notebook. Alan Wake had ridden this same ferry into town when he arrived. This was his entry into Bright Falls. His first steps across the threshold. She wrote that down. She always found it helpful to walk in the victim's shoes, do what they did, see what they saw. It added great color to the book. Tammy felt raindrops on her face. God, again? She pulled up her hood. The rain just kept coming. She missed New York. 
So far, this hadn't been the simple research trip she pictured. First the incident at the lake, then the fight with Ed. It's not surprising tempers got hot. They were both on edge after what had happened. Tammy had said some things, things she regretted. She looked out over the harbor. A chill passed through her. She hoped Ed wouldn't do anything stupid. 